Hi, I'm Justin from Rice Media and today I'm going to be trying TCM for the first time. Ow! Oh. Is it very painful? I'm going to give birth. Eh? <laughs> Am I dying? No, we are not. If there's anything you're uncomfortable about, right, you can let me know. You okay. can hit the bell and I'll come over. Yeah, okay. okay. Don't fall asleep, right? Like most Singaporeans, I grew up on a diet of science textbooks and encyclopedias. Because of that, I've always been skeptical of TCM, as there's no actual scientific proof that it works. Being told by a distant relative that powder from some endangered animal's crushed skull will cure my insomnia sounds ridiculous. Besides, only an idiot will allow a stranger to stick needles in their head. Hi, Solution Sang. It's my first time here today. I'm not very sure what to expect. So TCM diagnostics, we use Wang Wen Wen Chia, and it's a four diagnostics. Okay. Which is I look at you, I assess your physical outlook, mm. look at your condition in general. Mm. And then I will also ask you about all your different symptoms, and your medical history, your lifestyle. Look at your tongue, take your pulse. You can tell it through your tongue. Part of it, to better understand the condition of your body internally, such as how heaty you are at the moment. So it's a combination of all the various diagnostic tools that you use. So is there any evidence behind like TCM? There is a lot of modern research ah. done in TCM already. I can give you a very notable example actually. Okay. WHO has also analysed, like controlled, clinical trials, right, for acupuncture. Okay. And they did release a list of disorders yeah. and illnesses that can be treated by acupuncture. It's so a very good example of modern discovery tying back into the... The usage. Stage. Okay. Yeah, one other thing that I wanted to ask. Animal-based remedies, right? Because like oh, when I was walking just now, yeah. I saw the sign that uh, rhino horn or tiger bones. That's not part of TCM, right? Around 40 plus are actually animal based, but we have also not used anything that from endangered animals like the mm. rhino horns you mentioned because of the concern of endangered animals. Governments have taken a stricter stance towards like illegal trading of animals. Okay. So it's a misconception that they are used in TCM now. That's not TCM, yeah. but I guess TCM is lumped together. Think it could be. Ah, okay. I think I have two main problems. One has to do with my knee. Sometimes I find it hard straightening my leg, especially when I bend down too quickly. The other thing is I get quite frequent headaches, I would say, because of the lack of sleep in general. So we are going to do the acupuncture mm. to address our headache. So I'll be putting the needles where the painful spot is. Okay. And around the neck region, and slightly lower down the base of the neck. How do you rate this pain then? On a scale of 0 to 10? About 2. It's not painful, it's just... Scary. It's scary because you don't know. mental thought of it, right? So we just relax in this position for 20 minutes. Okay, they're all removed now. Ow. <laughs> so for your treatment, because your pain, right, occurs around 3 months once, mm. Uh, but ongoing will be the herbal medication uh, so this will help to address all your other conditions as well like your lack of energy along with the pain and the headache. Now that I've experienced TCM firsthand, everything is a lot clearer to me. As it turns out, my previous misconception of TCM being a gated practice couldn't be more wrong. More importantly, I've learned two things. One, I'm not going to be prescribed endangered monkey brains at a TCM clinic. And two, the needles don't really hurt, even for someone as afraid of pain as myself. So for now, I'm going to diligently take my medication, give acupuncture a few more shots, maybe even make a few lifestyle changes. Hopefully, my health takes a turn for the better.